Yo, 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 what is up, my gladiator? Sam here, and we are back once again with another story time episode. Today, I want to talk about uh, some of the previous jobs that I've had. I've had some uh, interesting experiences, uh, not the best of experiences. The previous jobs that I've had haven't been very great, but I think it's pretty funny to talk about and interesting to talk about as well. Um, so I had uh, one job working, you know, it's kind of a normal job working at a store. And one thing about myself is every time I go in for an interview for a job, I nail the interview every single time. Every job that I've gone in for an interview, I've gotten the job. And for this uh, particular job, I think like 50 people uh, applied for it or whatever, and only three people could get the job. As I was in the interview, they gave me the job. They're like, we've never done this before, but we're just going to give you the job. And it's because I go into everything and I'm like super almost cocky, uh, but very confident. And um, I went into this job very, very confident. That's just by default, I go into everything extremely confident. Um, even though I have no clue what I'm doing, I just, I'm confident anyways. And I think that's a big reason of why they hired me on. Um, so we start the job and we start, you know, learning all the basics of the job and stuff. And it's, it's pretty difficult for me. Uh, one reason in particular, because I'm actually extremely dyslexic. So that means like my brain, uh, it just works differently. And I've said this, uh, many times in, uh, my other videos where it's just like my brain is, it just works differently. It's not, it's not bad. It's not better. It's just different. Um, so the, the tasks that they wanted me to do are extremely hard for me. Like, oh my God. Um, there was one where I had to, uh, get all the DVDs and then alphabetize all the DVDs and then run, um, and put them on the shelves in the correct order. And I had to do it in a certain amount of time. And so I'm just sitting there like trying to like alphabetize. I'm like, oh God. And there's like hundreds and hundreds of DVDs. And then you got to run through the store and put them on their specific uh, spots in a certain amount of time or whatever. And oh my God, I was horrible at it. I was so slow. I was like, okay, A, B, C, D. Oh my, it was just, it was the worst. And everyone else could do it obviously a little bit faster than I could. But here's the worst part about the job. And I'm just basically telling you guys how horrible this job was. The worst part of it was I had to work um, most times as a uh, cashier. And one particular time, or as they were explaining it to me, as they were kind of giving me the process, okay, this is how you do the, the, the job and stuff, I had the manager standing over me. And he's explaining um, how we're supposed to do everything. And then it gets to the point where he's like, all right, so for every customer that comes in, I want you to sell them this free um, magazine subscription. And then he like, he leans in close. He goes, but the catch is if they forget to cancel the subscription, what ends up happening is it, it starts charging them. And then you get a percentage of that revenue based on the amount of people that you sell this free subscription to and the amount of people that forget to cancel it. And I'm sitting there like, <clears throat> what? You basically want me to like scam your customers. That's basically what they're telling me to do. It's a scam. And I'm just like, oh my God, that's horrible. Everyone who comes in, I have to try to scam them? Like, who wants to do that? That's just horrible. Anyways, I had to do it. Because he's standing over me and I'm the new being there explaining to me how you're supposed to do all this stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, this, this is horrible. So people are, are coming up and every single person that comes up when they order, when they get all their stuff and I bag all their stuff, I'm like, oh, by the way, you get this free magazine, blah, blah, blah. And the horrible thing is I actually sold it to a few people and oh my God, I felt terrible. Anyways, when the manager left... I'm just like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm, I stopped it. I stopped selling the, the scam to people. I, I just couldn't do some of the things that they were asking me to do. And oh my God, it was just, 
really, really bad. Anyways, when it got to uh, later on in the day, they wanted me to close. And they wanted me to close without necessarily explaining to me how to close the store. It's like, okay, we're going to have you close the store. Here's the guy that's going to teach it to you. And the guy that was going to teach it to me was like, all right, well, I'll teach you some of this stuff, but oh, I got to go. I got a thing and just blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what? And then he ends up like explaining like half of it to me and then just leaves. And I'm just sitting there like, and then he, he hands me like this big piece of paper and now all the other things I need to do. I'm sitting there like, how am I supposed to do this if no one has shown me how to do it? They want me to close the store. So I'm sitting there basically alone in the store with a list of things I have to do that I don't know how to do. I, I just kind of like tried a few things. Didn't really work out. I mopped a little bit. They never explained to me like how to mop or what to do with it. So I just kind of mopped around and then... I didn't know what to do with that, and then I just kind of like set the mop down, and I'm just sitting there like, what, what, how do I do any of this stuff? Anyways, the manager guy comes in, right? And he is pissed. He is livid because the, sh the store is supposed to be shut down like an hour ago or whatever, and it wasn't because I wasn't told how to do it. And he's getting mad at me, right? He's like, oh, you're supposed to shut down the store and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, what, what? And they're just, they were so mad at me. Anyways, I ended up getting fired pretty quickly uh, just because I can't do some of the things they want me to do. And I, I also won't do some of the things they want me to do. They're like, oh, you didn't smile enough and blah, 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 blah. Also, inside the store, there was, like, uh, the uh, specific fluorescent lighting. And these lights would, like, mess with my eyes to the point where uh, they would be, like, bloodshot red if I stay in the store for too long. And my eyes started, like, melting out of their sockets. It was just, oh, it was horrible. So I had to, like, I, one time I went in and I tried to wear, like, sunglasses. I looked really lame. Oh, gosh, it was terrible. And I like walk around with these really lame sunglasses on. It almost looks like borderline like I'm trying to look cool, but I'm not pulling it off. But I wasn't trying to look cool. I was just trying to protect my eyes because they were like melting. It didn't even work really. And I just, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a pretty lame job. Ended up just, they just fired me. They're just like, you're done. And the thing is, all the jobs that I've had, um, I end up getting fired, right? I get it. Uh, I get the, the job on the interview. But then when I go through the job, they fire me because they realize I'm just really confident, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how all my jobs went. They were pretty bad. One job, I thought I was actually doing really good. I was like, oh my God, I'm nailing this job. I'm doing such a good job. And then they're like, oh yeah, you, you, you suck. And then they fired me. I'm like, oh, I guess I didn't do a good job. Well, luckily I have YouTube and stuff. So that's what I'm working on now. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. This is just me basically explaining how bad I am at jobs and, and stuff like that. Anyways, I guess we're going to end the story here. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.